I decided to record my bio, which I'm putting in um, the yearbook, I guess, that the class of 73 uh, in um, honor of our 50th anniversary from graduation um, it is all doing, I guess, all of us who are still around. And I decided I wanted to read it, so I am. Here's me, I guess. At the moment, art is the center of my life. I'm the child of two artists. My mother was an accomplished watercolorist. My father had a gift for conjuring up outrageous creatures in charcoal. As their child, I received two extraordinary gifts. One was a luck-of-the-draw DNA aptitude for drawing. But the greater gift was learning, in the demonstration of their lives, that art is essential. It is not a, ho it is not a hobby, a minor pastime, something to do only when you're not doing something more important. It deserves to be the center of a life. Making it the center of my life took decades, the product of a very circuitous journey. As a kid, drawing was what got me the most attention, but writing, which by adulthood took the form of a good number of solo and collaborative nonfiction books, and music, specifically playing the violin, soon took, soon took over. For whatever reasons, art pretty much went underground from my 20s to, well, April Fool's Day 2009, when, about a month short of my 58th birthday, I sat down to do the first drawing I'd done in years, aimed at accompanying one of the poems I had started writing about 12 years before. It wasn't a big moment, just a matter of fact, I think I'll do a drawing. I did one every day for 14 years. It takes a big chest of drawers to hold them all. For a good long while, starting in about 2009, three years after I started drawing every day, the poems I've been writing almost daily since I started the regime in 1997 got very nosy. They insisted on wedging into the, fl into the freshly drawn creatures I was daily adding to a menagerie of characters, which became loopier and loopier as I went on. A good friend of mine calls them supernatural. They come... They come out of nowhere, but in the past three or four years, the drawings started rejecting the poems, as if to scold me. We don't need to be explained. I'm not sure I agree with them, but the words now end up in their own separate corral. The great adventure for me is to sit, as I do every day, without an idea in my head, and watch how creatures arrive. Let the pencil start moving. When I'm done, I prop the drawing up and thank it. And also change a few this is and that's. Starting recently, I have covered every wall of my now even more wonderful apartment in the East Village with my drawings. They make a pretty spectacular statement, perhaps not only about my art, but my sanity. <laughs> Google exists to answer any questions about the books I've written, the art I've shown in galleries, the poems I've published, the music I've played, the songs I've sung. You YouTube the source for that. Actually, at the moment anyway, it seems like they hired a PR person to show me off at my best angles. Apparently I have a few. Powers that be, bless Google, I guess. Guy Kettlehack, um, not K-E-T-T-L-E-H-A-C-K, but K E T T L A C K. What am I telling people? Is all you need to open their magical doors. Enjoy your lives. <laughs>